Just behind me here is the little project I have going on at the moment. Now, I've been banned from using the workshop for a few weeks for various reasons. Um, because I've had a, a small operation. Um, so I thought I'd use the time to explain what I'm doing here with these lumps of metal. This is a vertical head, or will be, a vertical head for my horizontal milling machine. It's a Tom Senior M1. It's a lovely, lovely piece of kit. And I have got the powered vertical head, the S-type head. Again, a lovely piece of equipment. But it does have two disadvantages from my point of view. Its lowest speed is 500 RPM, and the spindle taper is 13, is two Morse taper. I could do with something that will take slightly bigger cuts. So not being able to find anything, I've decided to make one. So what we have here is the spindle which I videoed myself doing a few weeks ago. This is the vertical section of the head. Behind me here is the horizontal section which will bolt to the fittings on the front of the body of the mill. Horizontal spindle will come out of there driven by the spindle on the milling machine. Four holes here to take studs and those studs go through there and hold it up against this spigot. So it's located on the spigot, not by the studs. The studs will just hold it in place. The studs are quarter inch Whitworth because A, I've got the equipment to do it. B, the rest of the machine is Whitworth anyway. And thirdly, I find quarter inch Whitworth is a much better thread and stronger thread than six millimeters. There's the horizontal spindle that will be milled to take the drive docks. That's one of the first of the gears I've got to cut. So that's the bevel gear will go on the horizontal spindle. That will sit approximately there. We'll mesh with another bevel gear, an 18 tooth that will sit here. That will go up through a bearing block to an 18 tooth spur gear, which will then drive a 26 tooth spur gear. And because of the change around in rotation it will give me the correct rotation uh, for the cutters on the vertical spindle from the horizontal. So quite a lot of work. These two rings, one will be welded to the front of the horizontal back plate. The other one will be welded to the body of the back, the horizontal body, and they will be drilled and tapped in the first place so that I can rotate the head between vertical and 45 degrees in one direction or all the way around to 90 degrees. So I can then have a horizontal spindle but running in the other orientation along the main axis of the bed. That will enable me to take cuts along there under power. One of the disadvantages currently is that I've had to cut this, and I used a four inch side and face cutter, but I had to do it by hand because I had to take it across on the axis. So that's where I am at the present time. I've just tack welded this in place so that I can do a little bit of grinding there to give me some weld prep to weld this up and then 
a little bit of final boring to take the bearings. I'm using opposed taper roller bearings, top and bottom. Uh, the bottom will also take a wiper to keep oil in. And then that will be screw threaded at the top here to pull down so I can preload the bearings. So that's where I am with that little project. Uh, it's going to keep me out of trouble for quite a long time or get me into trouble, whichever way you want to look at it. And, but I can't do any more on it for the present moment. Hope you found that of interest and I will see you in other issues of Dad's Shed. Cheers.